Hello and welcome to the news at when. When the Middle Ages, a time when the Christian people of Europe decided to go to war with the Islamic people in the Middle East just because they didn't believe in the same things. Hard to imagine, I know. So here with more details is Bob Hale with the Crusades report. Thank you, Sam. Well, I'm Bob Hale, and I'm on a bit of a crusade to tell you all about the Crusades, a series of extremely violent religious wars that started nearly a thousand years ago. Yes, the year is 1095. That right there is Palestine, the Holy Land. And what do you know? Here comes the Pope. Yep, there he is, and he's called Pope Urban because he's quite street. Sick. No, not really. And he doesn't like what he sees, which is lots and lots of Muslim people, which is hardly surprising since they live there and it's their holy land too. But this Pope doesn't like to share. He decides the entire holy land should be reclaimed for the Christians. And how does he plan to do this? Simple. He says any Christian who goes to fight for the holy land will get into heaven, which the Christians quite like the sound of. And so began the first crusade. Loads of heaven-hungry Christians will pop across to the holy land, take over, and that will be the end of that. Or so they thought, but turns out this crusading lark is a tricky old business, and that's just the journey, because many ships back then had a bit of a design problem. Mainly that one. And if you didn't sink, you'd have to contend with diseases and storms and sickness and mutant sea monsters, except not mutant sea monsters, all before you got to do any actual fighting. And that was if you could afford to go by boat, because many crusaders were just poor peasants who had to walk to the Holy Land. Yep, they walked there, which takes a lot longer than going to the shops, even if you go to the big shops down at the Arndale Centre and not the little one on the corner. In fact, the first crusade took such a long time, what with all the walking and sinking and fighting, that the Christians ran out of supplies and ended up having to eat some really disgusting things like blood, we, turkey twist, and dead bodies. Except not turkey twizzlers. They never got that desperate. Ha <laughs> ha! Little joke there. Well done, Bobsy. But despite all these difficulties, the Christians managed to take over huge chunks of the Holy Land, including the great city of Jerusalem, all in just four years. So that's job done. Crusades over Christians win. So long, farewell. Our feet are saying goodbye, right? Wrong! The Muslims weren't about to take all this lying down. No, no, no. They fight back, conquering the city of Edessa. Just there. So what did the Pope do? Yep, you've guessed it, another crusade! In 1147, the Christians rush back over to the Holy Land, and this time they lose. In fact, they get the pants thrashed off of them. So after spending 40 years or so mulling over what to do next, the Christians come up with a groundbreaking new plan. A crusade! Yep, it's another one, and it's a biggie. 1187, Richard the Lionheart, who's actually got a lion's heart. Yeah, right, that's not true, but he is king of England, and he starts a war with Saladin. So that's a war with tomatoes, lettuce, some cucumbers. All right, apparently he's named Saladin, and he's a Muslim leader who's been building a huge empire over in the Middle East. So King Richard and a load of Christians rush over to the Holy Land led again, and a big old fight breaks out. Nothing to do with the Muslims, though. Oh, no. In fact, the Crusaders start fighting amongst themselves. So half of them decide to just call it a day and go home, leaving poor old Dicky boy on his lonesome. Lucky for him, though, Saladin is a jolly nice chap and agrees to a peace treaty. Yes, peace is upon us. No more wars, no more crusades. It's all flowers and love and holding hands, and that is the end of that. No doubt, no diggity, and no questions asked. Or so we thought! But in 1202, another pope, the ironically named Pope Innocent, yes, really, that's his name, comes up with a bold new initiative. Yep, you've guessed it, it's a crusade! And so we have the fourth crusade that achieves nothing. Followed by the fifth crusade that achieves nothing. Followed by the sixth crusade that achieves nothing. Followed by the seventh crusade... Well, we apologise for the technical hitch we appear to have with Bob...